Oh, I instantly yeah. thought this was someone who was about to try to break into our oh, garage on the other yeah, end of the yard. No. And I had just Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Lamont, and I'm back today with another. Ah, you thought I was gonna say video, but it's really. Bang out the bang out the bang out the bang 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 banger baby you already know what it is man whoo your boy has reached 500 subscribers hey congratulations to me if you want to enter the giveaway go watch my last video it's on the last video man go ahead and check that out hey man but it's your boy Lamont did it and today I'm gonna be reacting to six true scary bedtime encounters. My darkness prevails. I'm going to tell y'all what. I'm not a fan of this scary BS. It ain't for me. I'm a thug, you know what I'm saying? I'm a thug. Don't, don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. I'm still a thug. But this scary stuff just ain't for your boy, man. I don't do all that. But hey, without further ado, let's get into the A, 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 A video, man. Just think of these stories when uh -huh. you lie in bed tonight. This world is a strange one. I'm definitely not going to think Every of Every night we lie in bed, a place in which most of us feel safe. But in fact, it is the place you are most vulnerable. I mean, think about it. What? You're unconscious, in the dark, unable to defend yourself. That's true. So, after I share these six true scary bedtime stories point. with you... Yo, his voice is already making this jump creepy. Like... And he got some valid points, though. But his voice is making this this creepy, like... I want you to think about them tonight I watch when the you lie thing. in your own bed, trying to sleep. I do want to give a quick shout-out to TJ Bent for being our new badass and donating to our website renovation. <laughs> now, I hope you're I sleepy, take a nap. because I have some nightmare fuel. I... That came right on point. That was a little too weird, bro. That was a little too weird. I mean, bedtime stories to read to you. My mama used to do that. Number mm. one. The Shadow Creature. Submitted by Chelsea S. I'd like to start off by saying I'm an 18-year-old female, and this happened about two years ago when I was 16. Okay. I'm used That's to having math. strange paranormal happenings in my life. My father died when I was 13, and I talked to him a lot in my dreams. In fact, I've talked to a lot of others who have passed as well. But that's not what this story is about. His voice I suppose is my gift creepy. also comes with a curse, since I have had several bouts of sleep paralysis. And in those moments, I have seen a lot of unsavory spirits. I woke up with a bloated, dead, drowned girl in bed with me. She threatened to hurt me if I called for help. Which whoa, I she began whoa, to choke whoa, whoa, whoa. me, I then woke. Whoa, 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 whoa. She woke up with what next to her? And then if it was dead, how did it threaten? I don't... Hey, bruh. Ain't no way... From yeah. that illusion immediately after, with I'm scratch marks on my neck, oh. I've seen the ghost of a clown sort of thing that likes to stand in the far left corner of my room, still and silent. She done done some bad things in her life to be seeing all of that. Ain't no way this stuff just popping out the woodworks. He just stands and he smiles, breathing audibly. Oh my but god. But usually, if my cat is in the same room as me when I'm having my sleep paralysis moments, these spirits will quickly leave without harming me. It seems they're intimidated by him, though I'm not sure why. She better He's get two more cats. He's a white Berman with a silly flat face and big beautiful blue eyes that go off in different mm -hmm. directions. So, obviously, he's not intimidating. At least, not to me. Anyway, in the instance I'll be sharing with you, my cat was with me, and I think he might have saved my life. So it was late at night, maybe around 9 or 10, and my mother had to go babysit overnight at a friend's house, so she left me home alone. I'm not very social, so I don't have many friends. And even then, all three of my friends, I know I'm super popular, are flaky. So I had no plans that night. Okay. Then to watch YouTube videos, play Fallout New Vegas. Since we're speaking on watching YouTube videos, hey, y'all go ahead and spike 
that like button. Y'all go ahead and smash that subscribe button and watch your boy old YouTube videos, man. What's better than your boy? Like Drake said, who better for you than the boy? Hey, I know that dab old as hell. Let me I said promptly go to bed, and I did just that. Nothing exciting happened. Mm -hmm. I just brushed my teeth, washed my face, Good. and changed into my pajamas before laying in bed at around 12. It doesn't take long for me to fall asleep. Though I used to have a bit of problem with some sort of insomnia. His voice but is hella creepy, really dog. Helped. I always take it an right. hour before bed, and His then I'm out like a light. His voice is hella creepy. So I don't remember most of this dream. I rarely remember my dreams, actually. But I remember someone or something I big telling me to mine. wake up. And I did. I woke up and stared at my ceiling. Mm -hmm. Immediately, I thought to myself, I'm having sleep paralysis again, aren't I? Very slowly, I looked around. Because I knew if I was having sleep paralysis, okay. most likely there would be a spirit in my room. Well, this whole I was spirit stuff is just too creepy, dude. Like, I don't like scary stuff, and I definitely don't like scary movies about spirits, dude. Like, that's just a turn off for me. Like, uh-uh, I ain't got time to be going home having no nightmares, bruh. Right. I looked into my door How frame all and stared at like it scary curiously. Movies? I don't know why I did, but something... Something told me to. There in the frame, I saw a tall, lanky, black creature with wild, unkempt hair and wild Why the creature gotta be eyes. black, though? Its nails <laughs> seemed overgrown, and its bottom half was blurry, like it was cut off. Usually, I can talk with my sleep paralysis. I just can't move. But I still try to flail about wildly like a fish, she calling out for help and screaming for my mother. Seeing all but the realization stuff. hit me. My mom is not home. I began to panic. And I looked at my alarm clock. It said it was six on the dot. I kept screaming and I told it to leave. I screamed for it to go away and leave me alone so many times. Mm -hmm. I swore my throat got hoarse afterwards. My eyes were watering and tears began to stream down my face. This thing was interesting. Y'all better stay on good terms with God. I'm closer. telling you. Go away. Go away. I kept yelling at it. But it slunk into my room no matter what I said. What the I looked around hurriedly, trying it? to see if my cat was in my room with me. And he was. There he was, sitting on the corner of my bed, tail flicking back and forth violently. I looked back to the creature, which realized mm -hmm. where I was staring, and looked at my cat as well. Then it stopped. It looked back to me, and then backed out of my room. Then I felt a hey. weight being lifted off of my chest, and I sat up quickly, looking at my hey. cat. Her cat a OG, bruh. Her cat is a OG. Now, if you ain't good with God, and you having problems like her, you might want to get you a cat like that. Her cat a OG, I'm telling you. In true terror, he just looked at me like, yeah, that's right, I just saved you. I began to have an anxiety attack, and I this promptly got out of my bed. Man. I ran into my mother's room, which was empty. Then I ran downstairs and checked my back and front doors. Both Chelsea were S locked. My prayers were real. This was no person. Yeah. It was a spirit. I don't know why, but I grabbed a knife from my kitchen's knife block, and I kept it with me that whole night. Throughout the next day, I made sure my cat was following me, which mm -hmm. wasn't hard because I think he was worried about me. That was probably the only time that a shadow creature really scared me, and I wish I could say there's more to this story, but there's not. I... It's the only time a shadow creature scared him? Anything shadowy and weird and awkward, that's just gonna scare the hell out of me. Y'all be playing the tug. I've only guy. ever seen I'm still this a thug in all once, and I have you know never ever felt as scared that as I did I'm still a thug. ever again. Number two, mm -hmm. dark figure in my room, by. submitted by Hero Twenty Ninety Nine. This is a true experience that happened back when I was 11. As a kid, I was terrified to sleep alone with my bedroom door closed because yeah. I wanted to be able to quickly escape my room if I saw Damn. a monster. Let me give you the layout of my room so you have a better idea of what happened. Your room is my you. room has two beds, I mean, mine and my stepbrother's, that are separated with a cubit. Something woke me up one night. What woke I you up, wake up with half-closed eyes to the rising sun like a normal morning routine. I was woken up kind of like yeah. how you would jump awake from a nightmare, and immediately you would inspect your surroundings. I think it must have been around 2 in the morning. When I woke up, mm -hmm. I felt drawn to look outside. 
It's hard to explain, but I felt like there was something in my yard. We had an alarm hey. system, so I couldn't exactly open the doors without waking up my parents. Instead, I decided to proceed down the hall to my parents' room to look through the window, which was the only window with a full view of our yard. Now, I do need to mention that our house is slightly raised off the ground, enough so that you would need a small ladder to be able to look through the window from the outside. I tiptoed silently to the window hey, so I to see. not wake my parents and, and look through. See. And there it was. A pitch black humanoid figure standing in the middle of our yard, staring right back at me. Oh, I instantly yeah. thought this was someone who was about to try to break into our oh, garage on the other yeah, end of the yard. No. And I had just caught the bastard in the middle of the act. I wanted to wake my parents up, but that's when I realized something that sent chills down my spine. Above the window, we have a somewhat bright light that illuminates our yard, and it was yeah. shining directly on him. Except I couldn't see anything. No face, no clothes, nothing. This creature, because it was obviously not a person, was standing yeah. directly in the light, yet it was still pitch black. I realized that there was no way that this thing could be human. I stood there frozen, too scared oh, to move, no, thinking my, that no, if I did, no, 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 it no, might do no, something. No, 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 I looked oh over to my sleeping parents, wanting to wake them up, but I did not want to provoke this thing. Now I know what you're thinking. I'm inside and that thing is outside. Yeah. But I was not about to take the chance. After all, I have no idea what this thing was, let alone what it could do. It could appear right behind me for all I knew. When I looked back, it started to walk in the direction of our kitchen door, which was at the other end of our hallway. My heart started pounding in my chest. Bro, what and I kid you not, it? I could not move a muscle. All I could will myself to do was stare down the hallway, waiting for the sound of a door handle turning. After hearing a loud bang on the door, I woke up to my mom bringing me breakfast, telling me to get ready for school. Oh, was hey, no. No, it couldn't have been. It felt real. It hey, felt exactly no, real. Creepy. I didn't hesitate you know to tell my parents about it. I'm being real with y'all. They wrote it off as I can't listen dream, to no more of parents do. Facts. I'm being real. I'm just spitting straight facts to y'all right now. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I can't watch no more with this. Y'all trying to have your boy having nightmares and stuff. I don't like this spirit stuff. I don't mess with the whole spirit thing. I can't watch no more of this. I'm going to keep it 100. I'm still a thug, though. Don't get it twisted. It's your boy Lamont did it. And, hey, man, I'm going to try to go ahead and take this nap and not have a nightmare, okay? Because... To the, to the girl who requested this, Tanika, I think it's Tanika Thompson, Tanika John, why you do this to me? I don't, I already said in the video before, I do not mess with this scary stuff. Your boy don't do the spirits. Hey, man, I'm going to go try not to have a nightmare and lay in this beautiful bed behind me. I done work 12 hours a day. I'm tired, boss. I'm tired. Hey, check out the ice in my wrist, though. Hey, your boy Lamont did it. Peace out, YouTube family. Hey, I love y'all. Thanks for getting me to 500 subscribers. A hundred dollar giveaway if you want to enter is in my last video. Hey, 